everybody and welcome back to our channel. My name is Hope and today I have a pin mail video for you. I have some grail mail to share with you. Um, I will be opening this at the end of the video so if you want to see my grail pin that I received then just keep watching. All right let's talk pin mail. So the first one that I got is actually a purchase that I made in the parks. This one is the Epcot Food and Wine Festival pin for 2018. So it is Snow White and she is baking grumpy a pie. And so the pie is actually a 3D element, um, which is rubberized. So that is super cute. And he's a little bit skeptical. He, he doesn't know about it, but <laughs> this pin is so nice and it will fit perfectly into my Snow White collection. So this one is limited edition of 4,000. I actually picked this pin up on the opening day of the festival. Abby and I went to the first day of the Food and Wine Festival. So I will link that vlog down below and put it in a card above if you want to see um, what the first day of the festival was like. So I purchased this pin. So now into the envelopes. So the first one that I have here is this little white one. And this one is from Maleficent's Magical Treasures on eBay. And I will say this pin came really fast in the mail, which I was very excited about. I love this pin so much. So this is from the Disney Studio Store Hollywood. This is actually my first pin from the DSSH, which is really exciting. And it is Anna, and she's just on this beautiful stained glass background. And I collect Anna. I actually don't know if I've ever mentioned that in a video before, but Anna is my favorite Disney character. and. She's one of my top three favorite princesses. I honestly don't know if I could choose. Um, my favorites are Snow White, Cinderella, and Anna, and I collect all of them, but I feel like I relate the most to Anna. She's the most like me. Um, she's awkward and clumsy, and that's pretty much me. <laughs> so I just love this pin. I think it's so beautiful. And I wanted to show it to you um, to see if you could see the stained glass element. Yeah. So it's just so pretty. And this is a limited edition of 400. So I am so excited to add this pin to my collection. Moving on, this next package I have here, I appreciate that they wrote a fragile on it. Um, and I have a few pins in here, actually. This was a purchase from eBay. I don't think this one was from a shop. This was from a private seller who was selling her collection off. And so I picked up some of these pins. I absolutely love these. These are older pins. Um, and as you know, if you've seen any of my other pin videos, I collect older pins. So pins from like 2004 and later, I collect. I think the quality was better. Um, they had really, really cool designs. The pins are heavier and have more to them. Um, and I just think they're beautiful. So this is the first one that I got and it says happy days 2003. I was going to say happy Valentine's Day, but it's not. Happy Days 2003 and it just has Mickey and Minnie and they are sitting and looking at each other and that is so cute and it's in a big heart so this is like the perfect Valentine's Day pin um, and on the back it says Disney Store made in China so I love love older pins so that's the first one I got from them the next one is this black and white Mickey and Minnie pin. Mickey is giving Minnie a smooch on the hand and she is just blushing. Well, I think she's blushing. It's black and white, so. Anyway, <laughs> um, but this pin is from 2002 and it says official pin trading 2002. And interestingly enough, this pin actually doesn't have a Mickey waffle back on it because it was before that was a thing. So it just has a normal rubberized back. Pretty interesting. So there's that one. 
And then the last one that I got from her is actually my favorite. And it is Mickey, and he has a bouquet of flowers that he's about to present to Minnie. And she's really curious, and she doesn't know what it is. Um, and it's just so darling. I love that you can see their expression through this pin. Um, and he's super excited to give her the flowers. And so this one says, Official Pin Trading 2005 on it. Just love it. Moving right along. The next one that I have, I also love this bubble mailer. How cute is this? It has flamingos on it. So this was the one trade that I made <laughs> from this haul. Um, like I said, I didn't do much trading this month. Um, I think I was just in more of a buying mood, so... I only made one trade, but I'm so happy with the one that I did make. So this is from Lisa, and um, I traded with Lisa through the Disney Kitty Chat and Trade group. I think that's right. I will leave the link to that in the description below. Um, and this was the card that came with it. So cute. I love when they include little um, cards into the pin mailers. So there's that and then this is what the pin came in and the green coloring of this bubble wrap is so perfect for this pin because it is a St. Patrick's Day pin. So I collect St. Patrick's Day pins and well St. Patrick's Day slash Irish and um, so anytime that I see an Irish pin pop up in the pin group I try to trade for it because they just don't come about all that often so I was super happy to see this one so it has two moving elements on it and it is Donald and he's peering around this little magic door and it says happy St. Patrick's Day from the little man of Disneyland and so when you open the door it has a little leprechaun in there and he's holding his walking stick and it has this amazing green glitter behind him. So I love it. So when I was talking to Lisa before I made this trade, she said that she actually traded for this pin at the Animation Celebration pin event at Epcot this year. This is actually a limited edition of 4,000, and it's also an artist's proof. So how you can tell if a pin is an artist proof or not is that it will have a little AP stamped in the corner. So I don't know if you're going to be able to see it um, or not. Let's see if it'll focus. But right there, there's a little AP, and that means it's an artist proof. And then it's a limited edition of 4,000. So this pin is from 2017, and I love it. I think it's so cute, and it fits in my St. Patrick's Day collection perfectly. The final mailer that I have to share with you guys, I actually have two pins from this seller, but I'm going to show you my non-grail first, and then I'll show you the grail at the end. This pin is actually from a couple's reveal conceal um, mystery set that came out a few years ago. It was 2014. And um, there's a few couples that I would like to get from this collection, so we'll see if that ends up happening in the future. But this is the first one that I have. And it is Snow White and her prince, and they are inside an engagement ring. And I think this is so beautiful. I love the way that they're looking at each other. They're so happy, and um, I love the marbleized background behind them. And the top of the ring is a clear stained glass element um, with two gems next to it. So this pin is super, nice. It's a limited release and it's like I said from 2014. So this will be added to my Snow White collection. And the pin you have all been waiting for, my Grail pin. So this pin has actually made its way into my hands because of our With a Smile and a Song pin tag video. If you have not checked out that video, please do. I will link it down below and in the cards above. Um, Actually, I think it's on this side. <laughs> the cards are right there. But this, on this video, one of our amazing subscribers commented and actually said that they found my Grail pin um, on eBay for a reasonable price. So I went and I actually purchased it. And I cannot 
thank you guys enough. You are seriously amazing. And Abby and I are just so blessed to have the best subscribers ever. And so you guys actually told us about this. So thank you, thank you. And here it is. So now it can actually come home to me and it's in my collection now, which I'm so excited for. And it is this. St. Patrick's Day 2008 pin and it has Mickey and Minnie and they are Irish dancing so they're dancing with each other and um, ironically Abby and I's um, school dresses for um, competitions look almost exactly like Minnie's dress except a purple version <laughs> so it's really funny that she is like wearing our dress but in a different color scheme um, but they're just dancing and then the shamrock and the ribbon below are like this shiny green and it is just gorgeous. I am the over the moon to have this pin. So it says St. Patrick's Day 2008 Disneyland Resort and it is limited edition of a thousand. So here's the back of the pin. It is just so beautiful. I, I don't have words. When I pulled it out of the package, I literally couldn't speak for like five minutes, <laughs> which is a long time for me. <laughs> you can ask Abby. <laughs> um, but I, seriously, this pin is so amazing. It is the star crowning jewel of my St. Patrick's Day collection. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. If you like pin videos, pin mail, pin hauls, pin collection videos, please give this video a thumbs up to let us know that you want to see more pin videos. Thank you so much for watching. Subscribe down below to our channel so you don't miss out on any future content. And we'll see you next time. Bye guys.